Welcome back. So this is all fine that, that now Chuck can pull and Norris can push. Let's try and start working things a bit up here. Let's, um, I have Chuck here. Let's say that he changed file 7. I do not. So he's changed file 7. I'll just shut that down. And at the same time, let's change Norris. He'll also change file 5 to say, no, I do not. Save that. So now they've both made changes to the repository. Now, what I want to do is let's start out by saying that Chuck he wants to send his change to uh, the common repository. He wants to send this change out there. So what he'll do is he will just um, do a commit first. Remember, you always have to commit new change, and he'll commit it. So now it's committed locally, and then he'll sync it, sending it to the common repository. Norris, on the other hand, he wants to do the same thing. So he will do what we did last time. While that syncs, he'll first do a git commit all with a message. I added changes. So it says there are some changes. I'll do a git push. Now you'll see something happening here. It pops up with an error. Something is wrong. Fail to push something to the calculator. Update were rejected, blah, 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 blah. The problem is I'm not up to date. I haven't done a git pull. What does this mean? Well, it kind of means that I have one. Chuck has sent some new code here for text document five, right? So this guy's changed right here. It's different. It's a version uh, two instead of version one. But I still have version one here, okay? So we are not in sync. So I cannot send anything up here until I have pulled and synchronized my local setup. So that's what I have to do before I can make a push. I have to make a pull. It's not allowed if I do not. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do a pull first. If you read this, it'll explain it to you. I'll do a git pull. It'll try and merge everything together. It tells me that something has changed in file five. And now I can do the git push. There we go. So what is actually happening here? Well, it tries to protect me so I don't start messing up things by making pushes to things that have not been pulled yet. I have to merge things locally, take care of changes locally before I decide to send things to the common repository to avoid me destroying the repository. That's all for this lesson. Next lesson we'll try and do something even more complex.